Okay, if you do want a question, please raise your hand and we'll get a microphone to you. Ali, we'll take the first one down here. Hi, Jose. Um, Deli Ali obviously had a big chance at 2-1. Didn't take it. The game went the other way. Does that show how kind of close a football match can be like that? Yeah, the match was close uh, and would be always close. If you look at it in that perspective, okay, we, we lost a big, a big chance to score a beautiful goal and to to score three one, but but that's football and nobody to nobody to blame. Uh, ben arrives in a great position. The cross is great. Uh, Dele makes the the run that he has to make. It's pretty good in the air for a player that is not a a striker. He's a good header of the ball. It was unlucky. John. Joe, they've had more injury problems. Uh, Hugh Ellery's uh, didn't play today. How bad is his injury and when might he be back? I don't know. Uh, it's hard to say when when he's going to be back. Is it a big a big problem? I don't think it is. Um, but not ready to, to play today and have to wait. Take a question from Nick here. Here you go. Just about the, the outcome of the game, it was obviously a game that swung between both ends. Was it a fair result in the end for your side? I don't think so. I think it was, uh, was a very good game with two teams that no one was happy with, uh, with the draw. Two teams trying to win it. Of course, two teams with a different style. Um, they are what we all know they are. Incredible. Incredible, fast and strong in in counter attack. We are a different uh, a different team, and um, obviously without the strikers, we try uh, different solutions. I think it worked in the sense of uh, we managed to score goals, we managed to have uh, some opportunities, we managed to arrive in dangerous positions. I don't know, I don't have data with me in this moment, but I believe that we had more possession than them, so we had more more control than them. I think it's unfair, the result is, is totally unfair for us, but that's what it is. Tony. Uh, Jose, just to go back to the strikers thing, was, was that the difference? They've got a striker, Jimenez, 23 goals I think this season, you don't have a striker at the moment. Is that the difference? You know, uh, it would be too easy for me to to say that. Um, I prefer to focus on this game today and try to forget uh, the players that we are uh, that we are missing. Uh, they have Jimenez. Yes, they have Jimenez, fantastic player, and uh, and they have incredible counter attack that uh, is very difficult to to stop, especially if you don't have that that mentality that they showed. Because, for example, in the first minute of the game, um, Ruben Neves makes a tackle on, on Lucas going to to counter-attack and attacking spaces. And uh, that is nothing to do with, with the result of the game, but it's something that I would, I would like one day <clears throat> when I have the opportunity to ask to the, to the PGM all uh, people. Um, you know, the game is from the first to the last second, and what happened, I don't think the referees they have to look to the to the watch. If there is a penalty on the first minute, it's a penalty. If there is a red card, it's a red card. If there is a yellow card, it's a yellow card. So that is a yellow card. That is a yellow card, and that is a way where the referee shows immediately what you can do and what you cannot do. Um, in the last minute, they did the same with Dendonka that the referee gave correctly the yellow cards. And I think that's the way a team has to play football. That's the way they the way they did. You know, the referee is there to punish, but they had the correct mentality. And I think we were punished not just today on the second and third goal, but for quite a long time because we don't have that that aggression, that ruthless, I think we are uh, we are too good. We are too good, we are too nice. And that was the only thing that made the difference of the game, because I think tactically the team was really good. I think Wolves was not expecting and they were in trouble 
four periods of, uh, of the game, we didn't have one single problem apart of Wolves' individual qualities. So it's difficult to, to cope with some individual qualities that they, they have. So I think unfair result, totally unfair result. But for the neutral, I think great game. OK, we'll go Sammy and we'll do one more after that. Jigo. Joe, Sammy. When, you, when you arrived, there was such a big gap to close <coughs> um, in terms of the top four. You've managed to close the gap twice now, but then you've... you've, you've, you've how, how do you explain that? And there must be such a frustration. If I'm going to explain, uh, I'm going to be repetitive. I'm going to be repetitive. In this week, I, I use the words... Uh, we have to try to keep close. We have to try to keep close until the moment where, where we have possibly back a different power than, uh, than we have. But you are right. It's uh, frustration not just for me, but also for the, for the players. Uh, we recovered 11 points distance to the fourth. We were 12. We recovered. We went to one, and then when we go to one, everything changed for us. Everything changed for us. So it's, it's frustrating. Yes, it's frustrating, but uh, we have to keep fighting like uh, we did today. I cannot complain with the players about their spirit, about their fighting. I cannot complain. I can complain about some psychological char characteristics. That is something that is not easy to is not easy to to change. Uh, but I have nothing, nothing to complain with with the players at all. I think the result is is very unfair. Okay, Matt. Thank you. Can, can, do you mind explaining your thinking with selection at the back? It's unusual for us not to see Toby or Jan, and and it's the first time in a while Eric's played in defence. What was your what was your thinking? Eric played very well. I think Eric played very well. So I think uh, if Eric's performance was not as good as it was. I would understand uh, questions and I would understand, but I think it was very, very good. Uh, the thinking was simple. The thinking was uh, Davison and, and Tanganga are the two fastest center defenders that we have. And, um, and Eric is the one that by, by nature is a midfield player. So playing in the middle of the other two center backs, was the one that normally is more comfortable to step up, is, is more comfortable with uh, reading the game and passing. So it was a mixture of giving security, but at the same time uh, keeping uh, fast people in the, um, in the back. I think they, they, they played well. I think especially Eric was very, very good. And sometimes you concede goals and you blame goalkeepers, you blame defenders. As other times you concede goals and uh, it's a global situation. And I think it was when it is a transition, when it comes from behind midfield. And uh, I think it's, it's, not, it's not about them. OK, Paul, last one. Jose, uh, you previously said that Troy Parrott, you didn't think was ready. He's obviously, he was on the bench today. What has he done to show that he's ready? And could he be ready for a start against Norwich? He's not ready. He's not ready. But he was on the bench. He's a good kid. He's a good talent. He's a kid that we want to help. He's a kid that needs help, not just on the pitch, but also outside the pitch. Is a kid that we are going to take care of, like since the the beginning, and is a kid that is going to have obviously his real opportunity in the right moment when we feel is the moment. Why he was on the bench? He was on the bench because uh, Lamella before the game he told that he was not even ready to go on the bench. So in that moment, we without Lamella. We, we, we brought uh, Troy, and in the last five, uh, five minutes, uh, you know, you put a striker that, that at least knows the, knows the position and uh, try to fix uh, Cody and uh, try to give a little bit more space and freedom to Dele, and, and that's the way it is. Okay, guys, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.